In this video, I am going to show you how to delete the VLAN.dat file from your Cisco flash memory. I am using a Cisco 3750G switch for this demo. Now I am consoled into the switch using my PuTTY terminal software. So let's look. So let's log into the switch. Go to the privilege exit mode. Show VLAN and you will see I have a bunch of VLANs here. So VLAN 1, VLAN 100, 101, 225, and these are other VLANs. But when you try to delete VLAN.dat, you will get rid of these three VLANs, but VLAN 1 and these 1002 to 1005 will still be there. So let's understand how VLANs work in a Cisco switch. A Cisco switch can have up to 4096 VLANs. VLAN 0 and 4095 are reserved for system use only. You cannot see or use these VLANs. And VLAN 1 is a default VLAN. You cannot delete that VLAN. When a Cisco switch comes from the factory, all your ports will be in this default VLAN. VLAN 2 to 1001 are the regular VLANs that you can create, use, and delete. 1002 to 1005 are used for legacy networking purpose, so you cannot delete these VLANs. And 1006 to 4094 are used for extended VLANs. You can use these VLANs you can create, use, and delete these VLAN like these normal VLANs. So let's get into the switch and delete the VLAN.dat database. Because why we have to delete is sometime, you know, when you normally delete the VLANs, there will be some residue of these VLANs uh, exist in the switch. So better way to clean up every VLAN that can be deleted from your switch is just to delete the VLAN.dat data base file from your flash memory. So let's look at show flash okay so this is the file we have to get rid of to clean up every VLAN. So if you have 100 VLANs you don't want to go and delete every single VLAN uh, just 100 times. It's a, your waste of time. Just delete the VLAN dot that database file. So let's look at what are the uh, delete option we have. Delete question mark. So you can delete the entire flash but you don't want to delete your entire flash. What will happen is the flash has these files and when you delete the entire flash, you are going to get rid of the operating system also. Then you are not able to boot into the switch. So just delete only the VLAN.dat from the flash. So delete flash VLAN.dat hit enter and confirm so now let's uh, just click the up arrow key you will get the previous command so show flash and now we render that is gone so it's just a file from the flash so you don't have to write to the uh, memory or anything so it doesn't make a difference if I do write write mem and just look at show flash you see uh, it didn't make any difference so VLAN dot that is gone so what I have to do is now you can check the VLANs first show VLAN those VLANs are still in the the memory of your running config when you reload the switch, all these VLANs should be gone. 
reload confirm so I'm going to pause this video and come back when the switch reboots so if you see here it is loading the the flash the iOS from the flash so that's why you should not delete the entire flash so the switch now have reloaded so let's look at enable show flash and you don't have the VLAN dot that that's completely gone show VLAN and you see all the VLANs uh, 100, 101 and 225 are gone and you still have one and uh, the other VLANs that you cannot delete from the switch so let's look at the flash again to see whether the VLAN dot dat is still there or not enable show show flash and that VLAN dot dat file is, is not there so let's create a VLAN and see whether we get the file again conf t so let's create an extended VLAN this time VLAN 2000 name marketing and so it says fail to create VLAN 2000 excellent VLAN not allowed in the current VTP mode so something going on with the um, show P status VTP operation mode server I think you need to have the switch in the transparent mode to create the extended VLAN so con T VTP mode transparent and T VLAN 2000 name name marketing I think now it it got created show show VLAN and I do have VLAN 2000 marketing and let's look at show show flash VLAN dot VLAN dot that is now in the flash hope uh, this video is very informative to you please do subscribe like comment and turn on the notification bell uh, thanks so much i'll see you in a another video bye